Hello, it's Mike Radio Big Mike's Kites. Today we're going to look at the Revolution Reflex. It's a brand new kite, just came out. I've got a small batch of them in. Let's go see how it goes. Revolution bag, standard bag type for uh, all Revolution kites. Uh, it's a cloth bag. This one's got a nice uh, little design on it. It says Reflex. Um, got kind of a picture of a kite down here on this end. Uh, in my case, I've got the lime and purple one. Uh, I kind of like those colors, but uh, let's go see how it goes. In a complete package, you're going to get, uh, you know, set of line, uh, some carbon fiber handles, uh, DVD to show you how to fly, a owner's manual, which tells you about Revolution kites, how to fly them, how to put them together, that kind of thing. As you saw in the picture, uh, this kite's just a little bit bigger than a standard 1.5. Uh, the 1.5 was the color rainbow one I had. This one here is uh, the Reflex. It's got these little stanchions on the back here that have a little Velcro that connects to that one location there. And they got that on both sides. Um, other than that, very colorful kite. Uh, I'll go lay out the lines. We'll see how it goes. All right, so this is the uh, Revolution Reflex. Uh, it's a nice flying kite. It's a little bit more subdued than the regular Revolution, but you know what? You wouldn't really notice it because it'll it'll do everything that uh, the other does. I haven't uh, found anything that it won't do. Just park it however you want. If you want to flip it upside down, you can. Flip it upside down and do a reverse launch. Flies in pretty light wind. Uh, I've got some trees behind me, so the lower I get, the more blocked the wind is, but it still takes off just fine. When I get up top here, uh, you can tell it's got a little more pull up there because of the wind. And you get down low like that, and the wind's blocked by the trees. You can park at one spot. And, now this is all stuff that you can do with the Revolution. It's just, you know, it's a great flying kite. It's uh, got excellent characteristics. I consider Will here a first-time uh, Revolution flyer because you know he hasn't flown the Revolution before. He's flown power kites a lot, but uh, you know this is what the kite's intended for as far as first-time flyers. Um, I still recommend a power kite for beating it up a little bit when you're first flying, but if you're wanting a Revolution, uh, this is a great place to start. Of course, he's uh, you remember your wind window, don't you? Because yeah. the wind's coming from this other way. He's uh, you need to walk towards the tree here to get back in the window. And so I was telling you about the trees. Well, you know, this is what I got right here. Uh, this is blocking the wind at the lower levels. So um, reverse launch, flip it around, and get it going and get it up. Because you got to get above those trees. So typically you wouldn't be flying this close to trees. Um, but Will's basically standing under a tree. <laughs> so, when you get it up, walk it back a little bit, Will. Again, first time, uh, Revolution pilot. 
but he's flown uh, power kites before. Dang. Yes, it, it, it responds very well to what you want it to do. Reverse. Now take it up and then walk forward and get, get back some of your ground and get some better wind. Up high. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, get it, get it up high. And then you can walk it. What are you doing? Alright, we had to fix Will. We had to get him over, over here to where he could actually get a little bit of wind. Again, this is, you know, maiden flight for Will for, for first time ever flying a Revolution. Uh, he does have power, power kite experience, but you know, even though it's left and right and up and down translate, uh, actual finesse doesn't translate. And he's he lacks some finesse with this kite compared to what a typical Revolution pilot would have once once they know what they're doing. But he's flying it well. That's yeah, a nice looking kite, and uh, I don't know. I'm, I like it. So, Revolution Reflex, um, get you one. Bye.